In this Alvante training video, it is our goal to show you how to create a group, a Bible study group, a small group, and then add the people that belong to that group. So in this video, we're going to help you to set up the group and then also to add the people. In this, you're going to be able to see how to create a group, how to set up meeting times, how to add and remove people to the group, and how to contact people within that group. So let me share now the Alvanto screen to show you how to do that. Obviously, the first thing that we need to do is uh, go to your um, Alvanto program and log into the Midrand page by putting in your username and your password. And then you just simply log in and it'll take you to your dashboard or to your home screen that uh, will look different for different people depending on um, your access. But this is my dashboard as an admin, but you would have to go down on the left-hand side. And uh, since we're ask, uh, teaching you how to create a group and populate a group, you just go down the left-hand side here to groups. And in this case, I'm just going to click groups and I'm gonna put all groups. And uh, you may have one or two. I have all of them because I am admin. But what we have here now is the group page. And in your case, we're teaching you how to add a group. So you click add group. And now you're on the page where you will fill in the information required for your group. So in this situation, let's say we would like to start a Bible study a small group Bible study in Centurion. So let's call this one Centurion Bible study. That'll be its name. Uh, we want it to be active or if it was an old one and we didn't want it anymore, we could archive it for record purposes. But since we're creating it, it'll be active. You could fill in an address for where this particular um, Bible study will be meeting, um, but in this case, we don't know exactly, so we'll leave that for now. You could give it a slight uh, description uh, where you might say this is a, a senior saints Bible study or a Bible study or a youth Bible study, just, just uh, whatever you would like to describe it, or you could just leave it out and not worry about that. But right, so we just work our way down the page now, and on the left hand side, you want it to be a small group. So we click on small group. Also, we want it to be for adults. So we could do that, or it could be for youth and adults or just adults, whatever you want to put in there and whatever your requirements are for this group. So now I'm just scrolling up and down, but I wanted to point out here your start date. This will enable Alvanta to collect information and send reminders to you because of the start date and when each group meets. But your start date, we click on the little calendar and let's just say we're gonna make this one start on Mondays on the 30th of August and your start time, we can click on here and let's make it 7 p.m. It's an evening Bible study and we want it to end by nine o'clock PM, always make sure it's AM or PM, depending on your group. Now, you could select the frequency, which I recommend you do. It would be a weekly Bible study, or if it's a men's group, it could be a monthly group, or, but in this case, it'll be a weekly, regular group meeting once a week on Mondays. So on the calendar, you will now have a group meeting every Monday uh, of the week. One more thing, as we look at this uh, form to fill in, we could check to set a group in that. Let's just say you just want this Bible study to go through to the end of the year. You would click on there and it'll give you the date and you put in your closing date. But otherwise, this is an ongoing Bible study, so we won't set an end date. We'll just leave it exactly as it is. Now, that's all we need for us to create a Centurion Bible study that meets on Mondays every week. And it's a small group and it's uh, comprised of adults. 
So when I push save, that group will be created and then, but we don't have any members yet, but let's just go first push save. And now the group is created to so come up with this screen. You'll see under groups, there is now a Centurion Bible study group. As you look at people, it says now people have been added to this group. At this point, you want to start adding people, obviously your leaders and uh, the people who are part of that. So we can keep attendances and statistics, um, which is very useful for the church. So we go and we push add people. Now, remember, as we type in names, these names will only be people that are on the Alvanto database. So there'll be a members or visitors or adherents that are on the system. Otherwise, they will not appear here. So let's just say in this case, we want to add myself, Henry, um, over there. And what will happen is because my name is already in the Alvanto database, it comes up and I can just click on that. And that's Henry added. Now we're going to add another person to this group. And for want of argument's sake, we just add people and we put in Shirley. And I wait a bit and I see Shirley's there and I add Shirley. So now we have Henry and Shirley. But now we need a Bible study leader. We need somebody that's going to do the teaching and and take responsibility for this. So if I go into this profile here, the Centurion Bible study, these are the people, the members of the Bible study. And on the right, in the middle here, position. If I click on edit, then it'll allow me to say what I want. And I want to edit that because I want to make myself a leader. Because as a leader, I will get notifications of when the Bible study is met so that I can uh, provide an attendance report and register. So I need to be a leader. So we'll edit. And this is the screen that now pops up. Is this, uh, there's no position or is it a leader? And uh, you might have the same, another person could come. See, now it says that I'm a leader and surely is none. So she's not in, she doesn't have a position. She's just a member. If we had an assistant leader, we could go to that particular person, edit and make them an assistant leader. So now what we have is a group, Centurion Bible study group, and uh, it's got two members in it. And Henry is the leader of that particular group. So now we have completed that process and it's ready to go as a group.